Another spot at the Oswego sectional on the line at Bennett Academy. Red Wings the sixth seed, visitors in their own gym, taking on 24 and six Naperville Central. Red Hawks 11 point winners at Thanksgiving. Early on, Bennett brought the jump shots with them. Eden Olson to Emily Eshoo for three, 14-6. Then Kristen Prassy makes it 17-6. More from behind the arc, Emily Schrammick to Prassy, 27-15. 11 point lead now, Jamie Cooney blocked by Olson. Prassy to Kathleen Doyle in transition. Back out and guess what, another three, Schrammick for 33-19. Coach Nussbaum trying to be a calming influence. Prassy keeping calm on the drive to the hoop. 35-20 at halftime. Now we begin the inevitable central run. Cooney to Victoria Trowbridge and one. Free throw good. 40-30 now. Shannon Ryan and Trowbridge give and go. 40-32. Fourth quarter lead at seven. Prassy to Schrammick blocked by Trowbridge. The senior had seven rejections. She's not the only one patrolling the paint. Ryan getting the best of a shoe, 40-33. 2.19 to play, still 40-33. Bennett has had possession since the four minute mark, moving the ball and not putting up shots. Nussbaum orders a foul on Olsen at 2.12. One of two for 41-33. Moments later, Hawks get hot. Cooney to Ryan, do you have a table for three? 41-36. After another B.A. free throw, it's 42-36, Trowbridge to Emily Kraft, 42-39, 1.36 left. Prassy on that play was elbowed by Trowbridge. She'd sit out the next few plays to get a concussion test. Meanwhile, Trowbridge to Ryan, another triple, 42-42, 75 seconds left. Prassy comes back in moments later, 19 seconds left in the paint. Cooney to Trowbridge, you can't stop it. Central with a lead, 44-42. Bennett moves the strike right away. Doyle pushes up court to Prassy. The three will win it. No good. Red Hawks entertain. They advance to the sectional. From us, I've never seen a flurry of threes like that in the last two minutes ever. I mean, it's just a. Uh, <laughs> this is my 25th year, and I've never seen anything like that. It's incredible. I am so proud of my team. Everyone works together. I could not be more happy. It's it's an amazing feeling. It's indescribable. We were saying in the locker room, first half, we our shots were falling. We were playing the same exact defense we were playing in the second half, except our shots were, just weren't falling. And there's not much you can control about that, which I think is why this is hitting us all so hard. You know, it was a game of halves. The first half, I thought we couldn't miss. The second half, we couldn't buy a basket. And we're a very good free throw shooting team, and it kind of let us down there at the end, you know. So we started freshman, two sophomores, a junior, and a senior, you know. I mean, so in many ways, we're relatively young, you know. So I think it's one of those where it's a learning experience, and hopefully they'll, uh, uh, they'll grow from this. You know, and call me dumb for not doing this in the beginning, but we put Jamie on Prassy. We put Victoria on Shramick. We put Ryan on a shoe. That's probably the way we should have started the game. Right. And in the second half, defensively, I thought we played much better. Bennett is an amazing team. It's an honor just to play them. I'm just so happy because it's just amazing from a 15-point deficit, we can all come together and work hard and just get it in. Victoria, we play club together. She gave me a nice elbow to the face, and that was getting a concussion test on the side, passed it, and then came in with... 30 seconds left or right. whatever and extremely difficult to play without her because they always look for her we're always you know Chrissy is Chrissy the mainstay of our team you know and I've said before I think she's the heart and soul of our team when she's not there we're kind of struggling a little bit we're looking a little bit you know and uh, it was great to have her uh, back, back again. Kristen's a good girl and I think um, she'll be understanding of me. We couldn't have done it without the coaches pressuring us at practice and saying midway through the season, we're not the young team that we started out. I'm going to remember it for the rest of my life. I am best friends with every girl on my team all four years. I love my coaches. I got two regional championships. I mean, it was just great. And we're still in the three-point contest, so hopefully get far with that. Well, one game at a time. I, You know, hey, Plainfield East and Romeoville are pretty good, too, you know. And... <laughs> But Tia Valley's not a bad team either, you know, besides the elephant in the room. Yeah. I mean, we've beaten Equal once. So yeah. we, and we've beaten Matia once. So, well, you know, we should have no problems being confident going in. Right. Um, but, you know what, they're both very good teams. No matter who we play, it's going to be a dogfight. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mean, I still can't believe it. I, you know, I, I, 
you know, when you're down seven with two minutes to go, you start thinking about what you're going to say in your post-game right. speech, and it's not with a smile on your right. face, you know? Trowbridge has really come of age this year. Oh, she's, you know what? She's yeah, even a better leader. She's shot. even a better leader than she is a basketball player. Really? She is a tremendous leader, and Jamie's a good leader. Although Jamie's a little more of a quiet leader, right. but um, all the girls on the team respect our captains, and that's surprise, surprise. We're twenty-five and six. You know, I mean right. that. You know, this has oh got to be as satisfying as anything. Oh, it's right? so. You know, I will not. <laughs> you know how you don't sleep after losses. Yeah. I will not sleep tonight. I'll be up to about 3 in the morning. We're going to at least be happy about this one for 24 hours. We're not going to practice tomorrow, so it might be more than 24 hours. <laughs>